Hello and welcome back to Klopp Talk TV. It's the start of a new week and I just want to say before we start this video, thank you to each and every one of you who has hit the subscribe button in the last week. Um, well, it, since, this, since the channel was created, uh, we've hit 100 subscribers. Thank you to each and every one of you. It means an awful lot, but let's go for 200 next and let's go for 300. Let's get, let's get, let's get it done, people. So before we start this video, please like, subscribe, turn the post notifications on and yeah we've got a, f a bit of an injury news video today and a little bit looking forward to Sheffield United which is the Reds next game uh, in the Premier League on Sunday the 28th of February uh, but, we'll, but we'll start with some negative news and then we'll go into the positive news first of all Henderson is set to miss Liverpool's next five um, games in all competitions um, Klopp has confirmed in his post-match press conference after Everton that he's suffered an injury in the region of his groin and adductor. So it'll be interesting to see um, how long he'll be out. Uh, but he's, he's, he's scheduled out. Liverpool are braced for a few weeks off for Jordan Henderson. He's set to miss Sheffield United, Chelsea, Fulham, Wolves and RB Leipzig in the Champions League as they come to Anfield. Or not Anfield, but the home leg our home leg uh, on March the 10th, which is set to be scheduled for a neutral venue. Uh, but massive games he's missing there, especially against Chelsea, uh, who are flying at the moment. So that'll be a huge miss for Jordan Henderson. However, um, you know, let's hope for the best. Let's hope he's, he's not out for too long because our win rate significantly goes down and we're in a sticky patch as it is. So let's hope... Let's fingers crossed, but that's that's all the news that I have for you on the Jordan Henderson injury front. However, into some positivity, uh, do you like the new studio? Do you like the new studio? I think I like it. It looks class. Thank you. It looks absolutely amazing. So thank you to everyone who has hit the subscribe button to make this happen. Um, but uh, yeah, on the, the positive injury front, Diogo Jota is set to return to full team training on Wednesday. Uh, he was assigned to club physio Chris Morgan um, to, to undergo his rehab and his recovery after he suffered a knee injury in what I call the pointless game against FC Michelin back in December. When Liverpool had topped the Champions League group and uh, already qualified and, you know, we, we, we played him, one of our key players at the, at the moment get at that moment in time getting goals from everywhere on the park and then he got injured so it was a bit of a kick in the teeth because yeah again it's our luck at the moment but obviously that's a much positive thing and something we have been missing uh purely i think he would be apt he's absolutely what you need if he can return to the form that he did before he got the injury then we'll we'll, we'll get back to winning ways that's for sure because um uh, do you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing Diogo Jot on the right, Mane on the left and Salah playing down the middle. For me, I think Firmino needs a rest. As much as I love Firmino, I feel like he does need a rest. Uh, he's not an out-and-out -out striker. People are expecting him to score goal after goal after goal. That's just not his job. His job is to supply the threat to the front three. Uh, well, the, the Mane and Salah with the, the clinical two. Um, Look, Firmino's job is not to score goals. His job is to uh, set people up, like I just said. But I feel like Firmino needs someone to push him. And he did. He was getting someone to push him. He did hit some form before Jota got injured. And it's sort of um, gone back to old Bobby Firmino. So we hope that Jota can provide something different for the team. Push Firmino, push Mane. Uh, because, yeah, again, Mane hasn't been good at either. Um you know, you could argue a case that maybe you drop Manny, uh, put Salah through the middle and put Jota on the right. Um, uh, no, sorry, put Jota on the left, Salah on the right, Firmino up top. But, you know, it's just it's one of those things where I think Klopp needs to do something, whether that's a change of system, because things aren't working. Teams know how to play against us. Now, I know in the Champions League it suits us because teams need to play on the front foot to get a goal. And um, that, that does suit us. However, I do believe that Liverpool need to uh, be able to adapt quicker uh, and adapt more effectively to win these games, which they are struggling in. They are dropping points and they are losing these games because we, we cannot change system as well as we would title winning teams do. Uh, it's clear to see. So, But although there's... Um, 
we're in a difficult time with Liverpool right now. Uh, of course, results aren't going our way. We still live in the positivity that they will turn it round. We've got to hope because in the end, of, at the end of the storm, there's a golden sky. It's a famous Liverpool saying, um, and I think it will happen. I think it will happen. I think. Um, We've seen encouraging videos regarding Joe Gomez and Van Dyke's progress in their uh, road to recovery and full fitness regarding their knee, set respective knee injuries um, suffered when on the international duty and against Liver uh, Everton, funnily enough, um, with T-Rex Pickford. But, you know, I just wanted to get the content out to you guys. I just wanted to thank you all for 100 subscribers. Let's get 200 now. But please hit the subscribe button. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah, leave your ratings out of 10 for the, the, little, the little design and the little outlook on the video. It would mean a lot. Thank you all. And I'll see you all soon. You'll never walk alone.